is set to resume its sittings a Tuesday afternoon following a two months recess amidst a highly charged political environment with a full entry. Crucial bills will attract huge debate in the August House with several agendas given priority. Our parliamentary reporter Daniel Karioki is in Parliament and now joins us live. Karioki, good afternoon. It's been a long recess for the legislators. Talk to us about the entry. Right, you've said it right, uh, that uh, it has been a long recess for the members of parliament, uh, the senators as well as uh, the uh, MPs, and today they resume their sittings, and there is a law that they are going to be discussing once they uh, resume uh, their sittings this afternoon at exactly uh, 2.30. A lot is uh, lined up uh, for discussion, or rather for debate, uh, including the National Dialogue uh, Committee report, so that's the NADICO report that was tabled by the majority leader, Kimani Shongwa, last year before the house went on recess, as well as the affordable housing uh, uh, bill that has been undergoing uh, public participation and it was actually uh, concluded last week and the leadership uh, the uh, leadership in the house says that they intend to use at least two weeks uh, to ensure that that uh, affordable housing uh, bill becomes law remember it is the uh, a bill that uh, uh, concerns matters to do with the housing levy that uh, uh, the courts uh, quashed uh, saying that there was no uh, right legal uh, framework that was uh, being used and so that's the reason the government uh, went ahead to come up with uh, the, um, uh, the law so uh, that they can continue with the housing uh, levy de deduction but uh, a lot is expected and uh, to get just a sneak preview of what we expect uh, this um, uh, afternoon or rather uh, during this session that ticks, kicks off today, I'm joined by Anthony Kibagendi, the member of parliament, Kitutu Chache, to just give us a, a sneak preview. Thank you very much, uh, Mwishimiwa, for joining us here on KTN News. Of course, this afternoon we are going to be having the house resume for another session that is going to, 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 to have a lot. And uh, it's an entry for the National Assembly. Maybe you can just bring us to speed with what we expect. Uh, indeed, uh, we've had uh, a lengthy uh, recess where we have rejuvenated, we have connected with the voters and tried to launch a project, support uh, those who are especially going to school, uh, joining Form 1. Uh, the challenge has been uh, the national government uh, or the treasury hasn't disbursed uh, funds, uh, funds to constituencies and uh, so we, are, we have a challenge, especially on matters to do with the uh, CDF. That is one important factor that is going to play today. Uh, to the extent we may not have uh, uh, the regular business going on, uh, the members may decide to actually halt uh, the plan to start transacting today because uh, without that fund, children have struggled to go to school. And number two, uh, even after we spoke to uh, principals and headmasters to allow uh, children in school, it is taken too long for us to be able to sort that out. That is one. And of course, uh, the National Dialogue, Dialogue Committee report that we are going to look at and look at what is important for this country. Uh, because we are not going to just uh, try and impress uh, those in power or those who want to seek power. We are looking at ensuring we harmonize this country, we weave this country together because that is a priority uh, uh, for us. Uh, the other thing, of course, uh, uh, through the majority leader, we have, uh, there is a, a bill they are trying to, they are bringing uh, to parliament that wants to alter uh, certain uh, clauses in the national uh, security docket, which uh, we are definitely not in support of, especially those of us from the, op the opposition. And uh, we are going to look at it. Right. And, and, and the issue of the housing bill, uh, you know, it is unprocedural. Yeah, the court said we cannot run, we cannot do the public participation. Uh, they went ahead and did them irregularly, and they've uh, brought it to parliament inappropriately. And still, this is not a matter we are supposed to be discussing here. Housing in a, is a county government function. So uh, we are not supporting it. Uh, in 30 seconds, you have said that you might uh, bring uh, down the businesses, the business of the house. Uh, if uh, the CDF is not released, then there is a lot that is expected from you. The NADICO report uh, is expected to be dealt with, with the budget also. How then uh, is the business of the house going to be going? Uh, what is priority right now is to sort out 
our children, our kids in school. That Right, we'll be coming back to our reporter Daniel Karioki where he's at the Parliament Buildings. Remember, they're just resuming their sittings officially today after a two-month recess.